Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. Today we're taking a look. Actually, we're not exactly taking a look, but this is going to be the unboxing and setup video for the Tron XY or Tronxy, not really sure how to pronounce that, Crux One new little mini desktop 3D printer that they have. They did send this to me to test out and review. And so I'll have another video that's more of kind of review video talking about like whether or not you should get this and all that stuff. But I'm assuming at this point that you have one and this is unboxing and how to set it up and how to level the print bed. So um, basically the bottom line in terms of should you get one or not, I would say, yeah, it's a pretty good price right now, 189 for a small 3D printer, but it has some nice features. So as long as you don't want to print something larger than a 180 millimeter cube, then I would say it's a really good printer. I've had a pretty good experience with this. Um, we will get into bed leveling. That's like the most annoying part. I really wish this had an automatic bed leveling thing on it. That'd be super cool. which is super fun. Take this out, it's right here. So we have a uh, USB cable and some hardware. Dang, look at that, wow. Test coil of PLA comes with a little, and a, all right. And then it comes with this filament holder. Um, and then this peels away from the magnetic There we go. All right, wow, oh wow. All right, so we have this one piece, but it's connected with this cable. So don't just go and rip this thing out. We wanna keep these together. Don't grab it by the bed, but just grab it by this rail right here. And there we go. Wow, all right, cool. So this is really actually pretty heavy. Let's put this baby together. Our driver, let's get our, all of our stuff here. So there's our screws right there. We'll just dump them out right there. Take this whole thing. There are five screws. One, two, three, four, five. And that's gonna match up with the base right here. So we're gonna put that on there. We're gonna line one of them up, set the screw on top and screw it in but not all the way we don't want it tightened down we just want it screwed in we'll screw in another one over here and we'll do the same thing with all the screws and you're going to have to move the print bed out of the way to access this one screw Remember, if you're having trouble threading the screw, try screwing it in the reverse direction, so counterclockwise, until you hear it kind of click and it will fall into place on the threads, and then you can tighten it in the correct direction, clockwise. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Try and t get them the same amount of tightness as you go around it. And I think if I try to tighten it too much, this uh, tool will break. Now we want to plug in the Z axis lead. You see there's a Z on there. Right there. Okay, uh, slide this down. You can see this screw is spinning. I'm just pressing down on it and then I'm, we're gonna put this handle on here. Right up there. Spin this around and we're gonna get the, or not the handle, we're gonna get the filament holder. Okay. 
Yay, okay, so that should hold the filament. Now we're gonna do the print bed. We are going to peel off this sticker or this uh, protective film. Okay, now we wanna get this sheet right here. Let's go ahead and line this up. Okay, I'm just gonna press it down on the sides so that I don't have to touch the build plate itself. I'm gonna use a plastic bag to just press this down like this. And then I can just peel off the actual plate, set this aside, and then press this down. With my, I can just use my fingers for this, but I didn't wanna put my greasy fingers on our actual build surface. We need to make sure that we're on the uh, two, 110. We wanna make sure we're on 110 power because I live in America. So there's a switch way back in there. So it's, it's a black switch so you can barely see it. It doesn't look red like the photo. Uh, to the left is 220 and to the right is 110. And that's how I have it set right there, 110. So look at that. You can also see those metal rollers there. That's pretty slick. I'm enjoying those metal rollers. Okay. Take our power cable and plug it in. Make sure it's plugged in all the way. And set this to off. And we can plug it in. Uh, usually I use a surge protector when I'm going to plug it in. But uh, I don't have a surge protector right now, so I'm just going to plug it into the wall. But generally, you want to use a surge protector uh, to protect your uh, printer's electronics in case there's a power surge. We can turn it on. There we get. There, there we get. There we go. Oh, my. And now we get to the bed leveling. Oh, the bed leveling. That can be very annoying. So here's basically what you're going to do. Uh, the bed, the print bed, needs to be level uh, to the to the to the extruder head or the you know the nozzle. So that way we get a consistent layer, uh, a layer height all the way around the bed. That's the goal. Now what we're going to do is adjust four screws on each uh, one on each corner of the bed so that we get a nice level surface. Now, one thing that you may need to do, depending on how, it, how this comes from the factory to you, is uh, when you go into the bed leveling process, which is you know, in the menu settings, um, it will uh, bring the Z axis, which is the up and down axis, it will bring that to a certain height. And that's basically, basically your, uh, your base level height or your, your lowest height, which is determined by the little uh, the little limit switch is what they call it. And you'll see that there's a screw. The Z-axis limit switch will hit the top of that little screw and it's got an orange or yellowish spring on there. And that is going to determine how high your Z-axis is from the print bed. In my case, it was too high and no matter how uh, loose or how how much I tried to raise the print bed using the four right, screws so the four important. leveling screws so It wasn't close enough. So what I had to do was tighten that Z to, uh, limit uh, Screw down just manual. a little bit so that and then that ultimately the, the Z button. axis so would be lower happens. like it could actually get lower to the print bed by a few millimeters and then it was within range to where I could actually level it okay. using the four so screws see what happened there? on All the right, print so bed. That it should stop and so we want this to be close to the bed, but not too close to the bed, not touching the bed, because we don't want to damage it. If it's too close, it will drag on the bed. 
And the process is basically you want to preheat, which you can do in the settings on the menu. You want to preheat the nozzle to whatever your printing temperature is, basically 200. That's a that's a fine temperature uh, Celsius. And then you also want to preheat your print bed um, somewhere usually between like 40 to 60 degrees, um, probably 60 for this one. And the reason why you want to get these hot is so that um, any kind of expansion uh, that happens with the metal surfaces, you can kind of take into account uh, because that's how you're going to be printing. Even though in the manual, it doesn't say to heat up the print bed, but you really want to heat up the print bed and the nozzle. And then as far as actually leveling the print bed, you're going to go to the first position as indicated on the little screen there. And you're going to tap on that corner and then you're going to put a piece of paper. Now what I did, I found that it seemed to work a little bit better if I used a regular um, piece of A4, you know, a letter paper. Basically you want to use two sheets of paper thickness. So take an A4 letter paper or printer paper and fold it over and then you want to put that on the print bed between the you know between the print bed and the nozzle and then you can use that to gauge how close the nozzle is to the print bed and whether you need to lower or raise the print bed and you will twist the uh, leveling screw uh, like kind of like clockwise it has arrows on there to show you which way you want the bed to go up or down and then you can use that piece of paper and kind of slide it back and forth until you just feel a little bit of resistance. And then that should be a decent height. Um, once you go all the way around and you do that process on all four corners, you should have a fairly level print bed. Really the best way to test this out is to just do a test print or you know, when you're doing your first test print, check and see kind of how it's printing. You don't want the nozzle to be so close that that you're getting a really uh, a, a, a really sparse um, print uh, layer, but you also don't want it to be so far away that you're getting a really thick layer and it's not sticking to the print bed. Whew. All right, I'm glad we have that leveling process out of the way because that is kind of a pain. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have questions about this printer, let me know in the comments down below. I will be talking more about this in another video and maybe comparing it to other printers and just kind of talking about that stuff in case you're interested. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Now go print something. We'll get, I mean, we get bars in our goggles that show.